What I'm going to show you in this demo is how we can add additional metadata or additional columns to items in our SharePoint team site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that on a document library. So I need to navigate to that by selecting documents from my quick launch menu on the left. So this is my traditional um, document library and what you'll see is I have a number of columns. Name, modified and modified by. Now I can actually add an additional or as many additional columns as I want by going up to library and then in here you'll see an option called create column. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this column simply customer and you'll see that I have the option here to select from a number of different types of columns. So I can make it single text, multi text but in this case I'm going to select a choice. So when I've got choice I'll go down the bottom here and now I need to put in the options that will be part of this choice field. So I'm just going to add some quick options here that I can now um, select from and add information about that to my list. So all of that's good. I go OK and now save that. Now when my document library refreshes you'll now see that I have an additional column here called customer. Now at the moment it's blank because it's been an added column. Now if I want to add information around that I simply select the item uh, go into files up the top here and again I go into edit properties. Now because I've elected to make this a choice field you'll see that it appears as an additional option down the bottom. If I pull that down I can now select a option from the choices that I have put in there. So in this case I'll make it customer B. Now going through all of those individually um, will take obviously a long time. It can be quite cumbersome but luckily what I can do is I can throw this into what's known as quick edit mode. You'll see that it changes to be displayed in a spreadsheet style format. So now if I go into that column I can quickly go in here and make the choices without having to open each item individually. Now what you'll also notice here for example is if I select other I can go into the bottom corner much like Excel and drag that down and that will then be replicated to the cells below. So again very much like uh, an Excel usage here. So once I've updated all those fields um, you'll see that I can then throw it back into the view mode. It'll take a moment while those changes are updated and you can see that all my fields are now complete. So the reason that we add additional fields to SharePoint items is firstly it allows us to sort so we can select the field heading and it will sort from uh, top to bottom or if we select it again bottom to top. But most importantly what it allows us to do is to go in here and actually filter the information. So let's say we only want to see records that match customer C and as you can see we've only got one. So we can add a, as many additional items or fields and what is known as metadata to most items within SharePoint. So for example again we can go into calendar, uh, we can go into the calendar item up here and if we want we can um, again create a column which you'll notice here under manage views. So if you have a specific item you want to add to each um, calendar appointment you can certainly do that. So you can do that for just about any item within SharePoint to make it nice and easy. And this is where we can start customizing exactly the information that we're uploading to make it easier to firstly sort, filter and then search. So again what we've done here is we've gone into our element in SharePoint team site. We've gone into uh, the item and selected typically um, the library tab or the list tab up the top and we've gone in simply and created a column. When we've created a column we've selected um, what type of column that we want and you'll see we have many many choices here and remember you can add as many additional columns as you want to help you describe your data. So really that's how simple it is to add a column in a SharePoint team site. Thank you very much for watching.